Hey there guys, Roger here, and I am watching the latest Nintendo Direct, it is an Indie World Showcase, and we're going to see some really cool games, I'm going to give you my thoughts, these are my reactions, initially, let's do this. Alright, pause it. So already I am liking this because it reminds me of a Pokemon, but with like, food. I think that actually existed in the past. I think they did kind of do like a food mo pocket monster thing. Uh, but this one's totally cutesy. I wish my broccoli could be my best buddy and I didn't have to eat them for dinner. <laughs> if they have like blind bags for ooblets, I would totally buy them. Oh, don't you just love games that are cozy and weird? Oh, I absolutely do. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has everything to give you the warm fuzzies. Grow and train adorable little creatures called ooblets as you cultivate new life in the blossoming community of Badgetown. Customize your character. Befriend the locals. And it's also a farm simulator mixed with like Pokemon and you can like dress your character. So like Animal Crossing, Woodbye. Colorful and mesmerizing planets awaits in this fast paced action RPG across the cosmos. In this deeply story-driven game by Stormmind Games, you'll use both strength and wits to interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Balancing the duality of your physical and mental powers is key. Sacrifice one for the other against opponents and things might not turn out well for you. Ultimately, your conscience will carry the weight of your decisions. What kind of hero will you become? Choose your destiny in Batora Lost Haven. Batora Lost Haven is Batora Lost on me. I probably won't play that one. All right, pause again. This one, I am totally all about. It is a puzzle platformer. I love puzzle games, I love platformer games. This one really, really looks cool. At first I thought it was looks kinda Mega Man-y. Um, and it does remind me of uh, NES Mega Man's uh, a bit there, but uh, much more puzzly. It kinda, I don't wanna say like Box Boy? A head bolts on to Nintendo Switch this summer. This game looks super bright and colorful. Uh, it's kind of poppy music uh, and you fight to the beat. Um, so I love music and rhythm games. Um, I love playing music. So I guess of course that would mean I like music games. I do. This just looks, it's top down, like Link to the Past, Link's Awakening-y. And it just looks like it emits a lot of joy. And I'm all about that. I want some games that will uh, make me feel happy and joyful. So. By the looks of this, I, I, I'm probably in. I'm hoping there's some shadow drops this d direct. I haven't seen any yet. I'd be happy if this was shadow drop. Let's let's see. Feel 
feel the beat and sound fall. This fast-paced, rhythm-based dungeon crawler from Noodle Cake and Drastic Games combines looter-shooter action with musical gameplay that'll keep you on your toes. And tapping your toes. As a guardian of harmony, you're transported to the world of Symphonia to battle the forces of discord. Move to the music solo, or with up to four players locally or online, as you restore harmony to Symphonia's corrupted lands. Levels and encounters are dynamically generated from the music, and there are over 140 songs to choose from. So pick the tune you want to hear before jumping into the fray. That is cool. So you can actually, so you can choose the song that you play the game to. Uh, that is really cool. Time your actions to the music and your power will increase. There are five different musical heroes to choose from, over 500 pieces of equipment for skill customization, and thousands of loot combinations, giving you opportunities for multiple playthroughs. Ah, I just mentioned Shadow Drops. It's available later today. I hope that it is cheap because I gotta pay for adult things. Why is it freezing in here? You better be ready to weather the snowstorm in Wild Frost. Take on the harsh elements in this tactical roguelike deck builder from Deadpan Games. Build and customize your deck as you set off to put an end to the eternal frost. Card companions and items are at your disposal. Use them to battle wave after wave of monsters from the deceptively cute penguins. <laughs> penguins. Uh, I grew up watching a show called Pengu. That's a bit deeper because I'm an older man, so I'm not, I'm not a young penguin. Snowy debut on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Hey, I'm Hanna. And I'm Rebecca. We're from Landfall Games, a small game studio based in Stockholm, Sweden. And we are excited to announce that our game, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TAPS for short, will be coming to Nintendo Switch. We first started working on TAPS in 2016. The idea was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you got when playing with your action figures as a kid. You're making a game that makes you feel like you were playing action figures as a kid. I still play with action figures and pose them and set them up on my shelf, so I think I'm gonna like what I see. We then added the strategy and fighting elements and turned the game into the wobbly experience that it is today. Our wonderful community has been with us along the way and helped us shape the game with their suggestions and feedback. So together with them, we're proud to bring Taz to this awesome platform. I like how goofy they walk and stuff. I feel like that's how uh, I walk uh, to the store in real life. Uh, I feel that's also, um, like I feel that I have as much coordination as those characters. This game has secretly stalked me and uh, kind of studied my movements. Totally accurate battle simulator. Wobbles. It's way on to Nintendo Switch this summer. Okay, this game is an action platformer side scroller. Looks cool to me. Umbrella. Why doesn't Mary Poppins' umbrella turn into a gun? I feel that would be really good safety measures. Penguin from Batman has one. I feel it's a really good idea. This guy and this game has the right idea. This musical narrative from indie pop band OFK is gonna take you on quite the emotional ride. 
Set in downtown Los Angeles, Itsumi Saito struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full-time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. But a chance encounter with a rising Hollywood music producer may give her the edge she needs to achieve her dreams. Through episodes released weekly and interactive music videos with a fully voiced cast, you'll witness the lives of Itsumi and her friends unfold. You're allowed to take a break and not be okay for a second. Thank you. From fighting over song lyrics at band practice to sending silly memes via text, it's a heartfelt making of the band journey that's sure to pull at your heartstrings. We are OFK. Brilliant um, way to market your band. Like, make a video game for it? Like, that is really cool. I think that is super neat. And it's episodic and everything, so you're constantly keeping people's attention. It's like a weekly show. It's like a weekly episodic game. Uh, that's just... OFK is A-OK. -okay. Take a deep breath and dive into the harrowing ocean abyss. In the depths of this puzzle adventure from Spiral Circus Games, you'll unravel long forgotten mysteries as you explore a surreal underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient ruins, and dangerous ocean inhabitants. A variety of sea creatures can be possessed harness their abilities to solve puzzles. Sylph looks super cool. Again, it's a side scroller, so uh, looks like I'd be really into it. And it's got, I like the black and, like I've never played an underwater game that's black and white. That is really cool. Um, so I'd probably turn like all the lights off to, to get in the, in the, in the mode there, uh, set the mood. And I like how you can possess other creatures. I saw a hammerhead shark there, I think an eel. Uh, that's awesome. I love possessing things in Mario Odyssey. Uh, <laughs> this one's an odd to see. Get it? Because you're in the sea. It's an ocean of fun. I'm sorry. The eye in this unsettling monochrome world. Plunge into the dark waters of silt, launching on Nintendo Switch next month. Hey, a way to avoid traffic. Morning commutes can be a real jam, if you get my drift. Oh, I know, right? But guess what? In many motorways from developer Dinosaur Polo Club, the key to solving the city's congestion problems is you. Draw and build roads to create a bustling metropolis and keep traffic flowing on maps inspired by real life cities. Okay, interesting game. I probably won't play it, but I think this is a good uh, way to show politicians um, how to really uh, enhance the infrastructure uh, of the city in a proper way. Mini motorways, cruising onto Nintendo Switch later today. Whoa, a flying hospital. That's new. I've never seen that before. Then hop aboard this heartfelt narrative adventure from Ghost Pattern, set in 1970s rural Australia. As intrepid teen journalist Casey, you'll come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced characters through the stories they tell and the moments you share. Each story unfolds in real time, at the same time, so you get to choose which ones you want to experience. I like how bright and colorful it is, and I like the little watch in the corner. Um, and everything, like they said, uh, happens in real time. So you can uh, go to other patients' rooms and everything, and, and see what's going on. It feels like a really, like, I could pick up and play it at different periods of the day, and, and everything's totally new and different and stuff. It's cool. It's cool, I think I try that in. Wayward Strand lands on Nintendo Switch July 21st. A randomly generated world awaits in this action adventure game from Massive Monster. As a possessed lamb saved by a foreboding stranger from a ritual sacrifice. It kind of reminds me of Paper Mario, like it's 2D in a 3D space a little bit. Cult of the Lamb trots onto Nintendo Switch this year.
Oh, I thought that was totally cool and I was really hyped for it. I thought it was like a new 3D platformer underwater and you're a cute little hermit hermit crab. And then it's souls like, <sighs> those are really, really difficult. I don't like those difficult games. I'll get frustrated. Like I'm waiting to play Elden Ring because um, I'm going to wait till it's like 20, 30 bucks on sale because I'm not buying it full price because I know full well I'll get frustrated and shelve it and go to an easier game or something. Um, but the world looks so beautiful. So I want to try it out. But anyways, this game... Maybe it's like an easier Souls-like. Maybe it's one that more people can get into. Uh... <laughs> okay, I like how you can get different shells to defend yourself. segment, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, they're gonna rapid fire some stuff. Let's go. Okay, there's a side scroller. It's hardly getting any playtime, but you are a gibbon, uh, a primate that exists in the world and you're swinging from tree to tree. I love Donkey Kong. Um, this is probably not as Donkey Kong-like. Uh, it's available later today, excuse me. This is good. <laughs> instant buy. And there's another game that's available today. Awesome! Well, that's a good way to close out the show. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna go on the eShop and check a lot of that stuff out. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the games. What ones are you most interested in? What ones did you think were cool and everything? So don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, uh, and you'll always see what Madison and I have cooking.